Hello, my lovely sleep seekers. Today, I wanna to talk to you about a, another lesser known yet influential factor that can significantly impact your sleep quality, and that is methylation. In case you haven't heard of methylation before, it is a vital metabolic process in the body that involves the addition of a methyl group to various molecules, including DNA, proteins, and neurotransmitters. This process influences the expression of genes, the production of neurotransmitters, detoxification, and overall cellular function. When methylation is impaired or inefficient, it can lead to a cascade of health issues, including wrecking your sleep. So you're wondering, how the heck does poor methylation influence my sleep? Well, I'm gonna tell you. So number one, it can lead to neurotransmitter imbalance. And this is probably one of the most important things. So methylation is closely tied to the production and regulation of neurotransmitters like serotonin, that is the happy hormone that converts to melatonin, the sleepy hormone, as well as dopamine and neuroepinephrine. These neurotransmitters play a pivotal role in mood regulation and sleep-wake cycles. Insufficient methylation can disrupt the delicate balance of these neurotransmitters and lead to mood disorders and disturbances in our sleep patterns. Secondly, poor methylation can compromise our detox pathways. Methylation is tightly linked to the body's ability to eliminate toxins and waste products. We all know that we are exposed to a ton of toxins throughout the day. So if our body cannot rid itself of these toxins, what it does is it leads to inflammation. And whenever our body is inflamed, our body starts producing cortisol to bring down the inflammation. Also, it can lead to those lovely 3 a.m. wake-ups that are caused by a sluggish liver. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out my video all about liver health and sleep. Thirdly, poor methylation can impact our ability to handle stress. When we cannot handle stress effectively, what happens is our body is spending more time in fight or flight, especially these days when we are just bombarded by stressors. When we're in fight or flight, our body is gonna produce excessive amounts of cortisol, the alert hormone, so that we can flee or fight. The more cortisol you have in your system, the more difficult it's going to be to sleep. Now that we have established that poor methylation can contribute to our sleep issues, what can you do about it? So first, let's figure out if it's something you should be concerned with through functional lab testing. So there are two labs that I run in my practice that can analyze methylation status. And those are the Dutch Complete, that's a hormone test, as well as the M2 neurotransmitter test. In the Dutch Complete, it assesses the body's ability to methylate estrogen during phase two detox. Poor methylation on the Dutch test can be a clue that methylation is an issue. Secondly, the M2 neurotransmitter test, it assesses the conversion of norepinephrine to epinephrine. Poor conversion is usually a sign of poor methylation. And then the nice thing is that through this test, I can determine what neurotransmitters you're deficient in and recommend a supplement protocol. Secondly, you can support proper methylation through your diet by incorporating nutrient-dense foods that serve as a source of methyl donor nutrients such as folate, B12, choline, and betaine. To include folate in your diet, you want to eat leafy greens such as spinach, kale, and collard greens. Also, legumes like lentils and chickpeas are good sources. Vitamin B12 is usually found in animal products and can be obtained from lean meats, fish, eggs, and dairy. For choline, incorporate eggs, liver, yeah, I know, <laughs> and cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and Brussels sprouts. And then lastly, beets are an excellent source of betaine. And lastly, like everything I talk about on this channel and everything that has to do with health and sleep, stress can negatively impact methylation. Now let's face it, who isn't stressed these days? We can't get rid of stress, but we can counteract it by implementing stress reduction techniques such as tapping, deep breathing, and spending time in nature. 
All that being said, understanding the intricate connection between methylation and sleep patterns is crucial for addressing sleep disturbances. By focusing on optimizing methylation pathways through nutrition, stress management, and supplements, it is possible to pave the way for improved sleep quality and overall well-being. If you want to dig in deeper into how your methylation status is impairing your sleep, let's chat. You can schedule a complimentary discovery call on my website, Kelly Murray Adult Sleep. So I hope that you found this information helpful in uncovering yet another hidden stressor that can be contributing to your sleep issues.